I'm Diego Perez. Adam Schoenfeld. Welcome to The Scoop. Welcome to Full Tilt Poker. We have a very successful and pleasant young man, an ad medic, and he won a World Poker Tour title at Foxwoods. World Series of Poker. And he won the opening event, which is the Hot Limit Hold'em World Championship event, as they call it now. Having a WPT and a WSOP is very strong. I like it. I like very the balance. Strong. I right. like the balance, especially because he hasn't been playing that long, and he's won both. But uh, he's a sensible, thoughtful uh, fellow. Canadian. And, uh, Canadian, and uh, we're going to talk to him. So you've had a lot of success with the WPT title and World Series of Poker bracelet, but at least, uh, at least to me it seems like there isn't like an easy way to characterize your game. Some guys are just hyper-aggressive, other guys are small ballers. I mean, is that just my lack of familiarity, or is, is your style a composite styles? Yeah, well, I, I'd like to think so. I don't know. I like to think I mix it up pretty pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I think that's the key to being uh, successful in, uh, in, in poker in general, tournaments and cash games. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd like to think that I mix it up pretty good. A lot of people label me as uh, super aggressive or oh, ultra aggressive. Um, but uh, and then some some other like some of the online players that I play with, they they think that I'm tight. So uh, it just uh, it depends. Uh, different stages, uh, I, I, I mix up my game. So I don't know. The best thing is when they think you're ultra aggressive, and of course you're not. Then every yeah. time. Those are, the, the, those are the fun... Uh, <laughs> if you can pull off that reputation, then... Yeah, yeah. Though, it's fun to play against the players that uh, label me as, uh, as uh, crazy or aggressive. Because, uh, yeah, they're easy to trap. Is that based on some TV appearance where they just show it a couple of hands or something that... that yeah, I guess people? TV appearance or just uh, depending on different stages. In, in some stages, I do, um, I do play like aggressive. Depending on my table, uh, sometimes I'll play aggressive, and if the, ta if the table's playing differently, I'll, I'll, I'll play tight. So maybe they played with me in a tournament where I felt the need to play aggressive, so then they just thought I played that way all the time. So I don't know how, how that label gets there, but uh, I don't know. It just uh, kind of happens that way. Do you play a lot of cash games as well? Um, I used to play a lot more cash games, but lately I've been uh, focusing on tournaments. And uh, yeah, I, I still play. I still still play a little bit online, but um, I used to concentrate more on uh, cash games. But uh, like I said, now I don't know. I, I've kind of, I don't know. I kind of lost the will to uh, grind in the cash games now. <laughs> Uh, tournaments are the ones uh, pushing me, keeping my uh, motivation going. If, if you're having success, tournaments are more fun. Than yeah, just yeah. grinding away day after day. That's true. Kind of anonymously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If yeah, you don't yeah, cash in 30 tournaments in a row, then uh, then uh, yeah. the occasional cash <laughs> yeah. Yeah. becomes a lot more, more, more attractive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It seems uh, just to me. I mean, you hit the seed very uh, suddenly and uh, made a big name for yourself. Is that is that an illusion where you were uh, just lower profile but playing a lot of cash games or is it a matter where you really did just have a lot of success early on? Well, I don't know. I've, I've been playing I've been playing on the circuit for like four or five years now and uh, I, I was kind of known to the players but um, to the to like the whatever to to the not so general uh, players I kind of wasn't known. Uh, I think the World Series win that I just had in uh, June that's that's what uh, that's what built up my uh, whatever uh, recognition from from other players. Um, when, winning that first event is big because we joke about the fact that there's 55 bracelets and really you start losing track. You don't even know who's yeah. winning anything. Yeah. We talked about the, the first one. Every, the, first the first one and the last one. The, yeah. I like to think the first one is a little more important than even the last one, but. <laughs> no, I don't know. no but, but the uh, first one, it's a you know huge field, so it is. A well, it wasn't deal. that huge, but it was it was a it was a pretty tough field. Uh, oh, this pot, was pot, pot limit hold'em. Yeah, right, right, right. Ten it thousand pot limit hold'em. It wasn't when they showed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, yeah, actually, it was the first event. There was an employee, but this was the first official. Whatever. We don't count the employee. Yeah. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> but, uh, employee yeah. They're employees. Yeah. Employees. Bracelet say, <laughs> yeah. I got a bracelet too. I'm like, yeah. let me know when uh, when you win an open event. And then you had a star-studded final table. Yeah, it was uh, really tough. It was a really tough final table uh, televised event. So uh, I don't know. It was a it was a good event to win, and uh, I was fortunate to uh, to have won it. And you had a super dramatic hand where you knocked out, or you were. Well, I knocked I out Kathy. The exact details, but yeah. you, it was like three guys all in, right? And you, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, three-handed, and uh, I got it all in with queens against Kathy. She had a sixes, I believe, and uh, Andy Black, uh, Andy Block had uh, pocket nines. Right. He had us both covered, but uh, my queens uh, held up, and uh, I, I like got when, it. I like when it's three-handed and all three are in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of rare. It's kind of rare. Super but, uh, rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, we all got it all in, and um, I flopped the queen on, the, uh, on right on the flop, so they were they were trying pretty bad. Now you had won a World Poker Tour prior to that. 
Yep, I won uh, the Foxwoods World Poker Tour. Uh, was, that Kathy, was Kathy was also at that final table? She was also there, yeah. She finished uh, fourth, I believe, there. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I love having her at my final table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a good luck charm yeah, or you got know. some hex over her. But yeah, yeah. But, but um, coincidental. Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I won that event. And even after I won that event, that, that's almost two years. That is, actually is two years ago now. And uh, after I won that event, that was for, like, almost twice the amount of money. But, uh I, I got some recognition, but uh, not nearly as much as uh, after I won the World Series event. I don't know. I mean, you know, World Poker Tours are, they've been on different networks, but yeah. none of them are ESPN. Yeah. And the World Series really is, in terms of recognition, huge. And, and that first mm -hmm. event, everyone's hungry to see the World Series, yeah. so that's an ideal to win if you want to be famous. I never even realized. I, the, last, the last few years, kind of, World Series time, there was always really good cash games, and I kind of concentrated on cash games. And this is really the first year I concentrated on tournaments. And uh, I never really realized how big uh, the TV exposure was until, uh, <laughs> until I just won it. But, uh, yeah. Well, this year, I mean, ESPN did a good job promoting things. The ratings were up for the whole, the yeah. whole thing. And the WPT, I mean, the ratings there have really fallen. And, right. you know, they've just, as you say, they've gone on different channels, different times. They're on super long delays. So mm -hmm. they don't have the same oof that they did that. Well, that you're among year. the few uh, who can compare the two wins and decide which, <laughs> which is more important. When you uh, you said about focusing more on the terms themselves, the World Series, did you play any cash games or did you focus just um, on the tournaments? Cause yeah, pretty much, yeah, sir. Uh, pretty much just tournaments. Um, I, I may have uh, played a, a little bit online when I, if I busted early, but um, I, I stayed away from the from the games. And the games are actually down, not as good as they were the past few years. Right. It looked so like a lot, lot more of the players uh, were doing the same thing, uh, concentrating on tournaments this year. So. Or the games were just down for whatever reason. Yeah. As well, well, economy. The economy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've always thought it was very tough to switch back and forth. I made the decision, like, years ago, where <coughs> I would pretty much just play the tournaments, not play any cash games, just because the mentality is so different because you can also just get yourself tied up where you start playing long sessions but yeah. I don't know Barry Greenstein seems to be the exception where he'll play a tournament till midnight and then he wants he'll to play go all, play no, cash he'll play games. all night and then just, you know, <laughs> he'll just go he'll play a cash game all night and then go play the tournament and then bust out the tournament and go play cash games. He's the yeah. exception that proves the rule even though he's like older than all of us. Yeah, he's <laughs> in the early 90s. Now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very tough especially World Series time when uh, the, if you even if you play the tournaments alone that 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 just kills you mentally like just every day there's two tournaments a day sometimes and then to to be able to play cash games as well that's just that's way too much I that seems crazy yeah, yeah yeah you talk about how the world series win even surprised you in terms of the recognition and the the you know publicity generated yeah. how important is that to you compared to just winning the cash and the, and the respect yeah. of your peers as well but i mean uh, it used to be in poker that a lot of guys they wouldn't even play too many World Series tournaments because financially it wasn't yeah. a big deal. In terms of peer recognition, it wasn't even that big a deal because people know in a tournament yeah. anything can happen. How is that balance for you? Well, but I didn't really think it would be as big a, as it was, so I kind of, whatever, I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to concentrate on tournaments. I don't know, I got, I got into the tournament kind of, uh, I, I enjoyed, I don't know, well, I didn't enjoy, uh, <laughs> most of them you lose, but once you get deep in a tournament, it's just, there's no feeling like it, like when you're when you're at a final table or when you're near uh, near the end. It's just uh, I don't know. That, that that's what I play for. But um, the well, first of all, I play for the money. I don't know. The recognition is good and all that, but um, the money in tournaments. There's there's a there's a lot of money to be won in these yeah. tournaments, and the tournaments are just getting bigger and bigger. So <clears throat> that, that's the that, that's the first thing. Uh, a lot of players can lie. They play uh, whatever. They play for the bracelets. They they play for the. <laughs> Recognition, but uh, we all we all play for the money.